But let's spend the remaining four minutes or so um, talking about the Okie Pinocchi, that amazing, one-of-a-kind natural resource about 50 miles to our east. Let's do that. I just want to mention, however, if you can't come to tomorrow morning's chainsaw cleanup, there's another one on February 11th on the rest of it. I'm sure to read that. Treat to it. <laughs> Okay, so the Okie Pinoki Swamp, um, you know, we love to go out there, we pedal out to the middle of it in Floyd's Island, camp out, that's the farthest you can get from a road in the state of Georgia, it's the most remote place in the state. And we go to Stephen C. Foster and we paddle down from there through the sill and the narrows down to Griffith's Fish Camp and it's great, you know, you, you, it's hard to believe that there's civilization somewhere around here and you think, I mean, like, what's that distance? Oh, that one I think is about 11 miles. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far. And to Floyd's, it's nine miles in, nine miles out. Upstream on the river, there's a bit of a current. Okay, so we'd all like this to be conserved, and it ought to be because it's a National Wildlife Refuge. Okay, but how does that work? If just outside of the refuge within three miles, according to the miners, some coal miners from Alabama want to dig a strip mine to mine titanium dioxide, whose primary use is white paint. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think that's worth risking the Okie Pinocchi Swamp. The miners, of course, say, oh, there's no way, but how can they prove that? Now, a lot of the state representatives say, well, you know, you've got to prove that they'll damage it. That seems backwards to me. It does to me, too, and now the talking point is uh, private property rights. Yes, there's even some legislators claiming it'd be a taking if they couldn't do it. Well, you know, legally speaking, I've talked to a number of attorneys about this, and there's one writing up a, a thing on this. It is not a taking unless it's taking all the uses of the land. There's plenty of other things they could do with it. They could plant pines on it like it used to be before the big fire back in 2017. They could do something like uh, uh, there's a, a big tourist outfit that's uh, along the entrance road to the Okie Finoki Refuge near, near Folkestone. It's called the farm at Okie Finoki. They've got cabins, they've planted all sorts all right, of fruit okay. trees, they could do that there. There's you know, just all sorts of things they could do on that. Good to hear you say that. Yeah, you know, you're restricting one use, but there's a thousand others that they could adapt to. Yeah, and my land has restricted uses on it. You know, I bet if I tried well, to build too. a mine there, the limits about us. Right, and you know, even when I do a prescribed burn to um, what you have to do in the piney woods here if you want healthy piney woods, somebody always calls the county fire department, compliments the county fire department for showing up whether you need it or not. And you know, of course I have to do fire breaks. So, you know, some things I can do, but only if I do them the right way. And that's the thing about the miners is, okay, maybe they won't be allowed to mine there. Okay, sorry. Yeah, the Okie Tonoki Swamp is just more important than your profit for white paint, in my opinion. I think the uh, process is similar, not much different than we see down in uh, Hamilton County to our south for what they, uh, the phosphate that they mine down there. It's pretty disruptive. Uh, well, yeah, it's similar, but it's different because these guys are wanting to try several techniques that have never been used in titanium dioxide mines. There are, in case you're not aware. Um, Two more of these active in Georgia and um, lost count here, I think it's uh, four, no, five now in North Florida on Trail Ridge. Those are all run by Camours, the offshoot of DuPont. And even Camours, um, uh, two days ago, spilled wastewater into the Swanee River Basin, the Santa Fe Basin in Florida. So if these guys with massive experience can do that, why should we trust this outfit, Twin Pine Minerals, coal miners from Alabama, who have no experience in this stuff? Why should we trust them? It is a one-of-a-kind natural resource. The Okie Pinoki deserves to be protected, period, in the story. I don't know why the, the argument's gotten this far, John. Yeah, well, private property like, right? Yeah. So that's something they can trot out when they don't really have an argument. Now, there's a bill in the legislature, uh, House Bill 71, it has 94 co-sponsors, which I believe is the majority in the House. You may wonder why isn't that thing passed already. Well, because the chair of the Natural Resources Committee in the House is not giving it a hearing. How is that possible? Well, she's the chair. She can do that. Yeah, but you only got about a week or two more to get something into that. That's right. So if we, if we only knew somebody who knew the governor, I wonder if there's anybody around here who knows the governor, could talk to the governor to try to get him to persuade her to do something. So, yeah, and then, and then Russ and John 
Yeah, I, I think we could ruffle some feathers here before the day's out. Yeah, and speaking of Russ, I'm guessing you're referring to Russ Goodman, our state senator. I am. It would be great if somebody were to start a bill in the Senate, because that would A, put some pressure on the House to do something, and B, even if we reach crossover day, there's already a bill in the Senate. Reconciliation could bring them together. You wouldn't happen to have one written already, would you? If you really want one, we can get you one pretty quick. <laughs> Just ask them a lot of times. They just want to alter. They don't want to have to. Well, the easiest alter. thing is just take the House bill, but, you know, Russ might want some protection for the west side of the swamp as well, since that's where his district is. So, you know, that could easily be added. And Good. yes, I can get you a draft. Thank you. Um, again, I, I, it, it seems obvious to me, but I, it, it is not, because now we're addressing this thing for the second time. There was actually a victory along the way, and then they all paused for about six months and reintroduced it and re-licensed and re-asked and re-everything, so here we go again. Yeah, that'd take more than a few minutes to explain all that about the Corps, how it was in charge of the permits, then it wasn't, then it was, then it wasn't. Now it's, there's lawsuits flying and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Now, this bill that's in the House, even if it passes and, you know, gets to be law, it will not stop this mine, because you can't do that. It's no ex post, no ex post facto laws, it's right in the body of the Constitution. But it might cramp their style because what they are asking for a permit for is only a demonstration mine. They own more land up within 400 feet of the swamp. And, you know, if you think they're going to get their toe in the door and stop, <laughs> i got a bridge to say. Yeah. John, keep up the good fight. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Don't know if I'll join you, but I'll All see right. you tomorrow morning.